guys, Kill McKill Cam here, and I'm bringing you another episode of Killzone Shadowfall Elite Campaign Mode, Chapter 7, Part 1. This is a three part series for Chapter 7, so make sure that you watch all three of them if you want to see how I get through the whole entire Chapter 7 without dying. And I take very little damage and don't even come close to dying at the end when all 50 of the enemies are trying to kill me. So if you want to see how I did it, Make sure you pay attention, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and enjoy the series. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Stand down. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Watch it, Lucas. Trust is easily lost in this game, and you don't get it back. She helped me escape. I'd be dead otherwise. You're gonna side with her over me? She told you she's gonna kill Massar. The one thing we need. Uh, the Black Hand. Vasari. Stahl. There's no difference. Their agenda is the same. To wipe us out. It's always been that way. You know that more than anyone. Christ's sake, your father paid with his life. You gonna let his death mean nothing? They are innocent people! No! They're not innocent, tell him. They're complicit. They all are. We have been given a chance. We secure the weapon and Massar. This thing targeted Hellgast once. She can do it again. Vasari won't be able to threaten us. Ever. We can finally take our home back. The Black Hand intel you retrieved details this mining spire in orbit around the planet. I need you to infiltrate, find the weapon, and Massar. Do not let the half breed get in your way. Show me I can still trust you, Lucas. Alright guys, so here it is, chapter 7, you can see on the screen just now that I still have 3 out of 3 lives left, and basically I just need to make it up to the little castle and get inside this ship, and if you hit the L stick in while you're going up, it'll go a little quicker, but this is one of those parts of the game where you just wish you could just hurry up and get through it because it's not entirely pointless because I guess it's just showing part of the movie or part of the game you know it's just not all going to be action I mean they got to tell you the story somehow and, and it's just going to show you how you got onto the ship you know you could just appear in the ship that would be kind of boring and even though this is kind of slow and tedious I wish it would go a little quicker so on this chapter seven i made it look pretty easy um if you're trying this on the elite mode i would suggest doing it on the regular campaign and put the setting on hard so that you can get a feeling of what it's going to be like before you try it on elite and um because there's more ways that you can die than just by the enemy and i'll show you coming up here after you make it through here um you know you had to jump down and then you had to miss all these fan blades i guess they would be and you know if you hit a fan blade on your way from free falling uh you can die there and then after that um there's spider mines that kill you and then after that there's just waves of enemies not a wave of enemy but most of the enemy in this campaign has that blue armor so here when you're falling you know you're gonna free fall you're gonna follow the orange dot but then you have all these little fan blades that you have to go in between which is very difficult and I don't really have a strategy for these fan blades other than just not hitting them and this is why I say practice on chapter 7 in the regular campaign mode doing this because you can die here and right here you're going to want to go through there and then cut over to the right don't 
try to keep going straight down after you go through those ones that are very close together. And again, just practice. Because if you get hit by one of those, your owl is not going to revive you. So when you come through here, what I like to do is hack the spider mine right away before it sets off any spiders. And then I did a little thing here so that you can see how much detail they put in the graphics. And basically, you can see your footprints. Look at that. Look how fucking awesome this game is. So there's going to be three spider mine crates that you're going to want to hack before you even get down. And then there's also a camera down here that you're going to be want to be aware of. As long as you don't go into the red laser beams, um, you'll be all right. So just try to avoid that camera. And if you shoot it, then you'll this guy will be alert and he'll be waiting for you. So I like to send my owl here on the shock mode, which is over left on your um, touchpad. And then I like to hit him uh, with the secondary fire mode on this gun. And then that will just make real quick work of him. So pick up his weapon so that you have two assault rifles. You're going to want to keep two assault rifles at all times. And when, after this owl hacks this door, um, these guys are going to be in the same spot every time. And like I said, all the hell gas have these, you see how he's bright red and not orange? Well, he's got that blue armor that makes him extremely difficult to kill. So if you just sneak up on him right there and get him a headshot with your secondary fire mode on this gun, um, then you've eliminated one right away. And now this guy is going to come up looking for you, and you have to use your tactical echo to see which way he's coming from because there's another set of stairs behind you that he can come up also. And to know which way he's going to come, I, I just try to get his attention there. And I think I throw a grenade. And that ended up scaring him away. I was trying to scare him up the steps. But basically I'm just going to use my shield so I don't take any damage from him when he comes up the steps. Because when you're charging up your secondary uh, fire mode on that gun, it takes a while. And they can get several shots on you while you're doing that. So... I'll have it charged up, waiting for him. Headshot, he survived that. And then I miss there. So then I take care of him. Easy peasy. <clears throat> so you'll come to this door and you're gonna notice a hole in the door. Um, don't even fire at this guy, just do a drop melee. That way um, you won't alert any of the other enemies and it'll be funner to do anyways. So in the event that you had to use an adrenaline, um, there's one right there, you're going to want to pick that up if you don't have two. So again, you got these spider mines. Um, now one or two of those spiders not, might not kill you, but if you rush right in and all those spiders pop out of that box all at once, and they explode all at once, it will kill you. So I give this guy a, another miss with the headshot. But yeah, this secondary mode will usually kill the enemies in one shot. The blue guys with the armor takes two. But while that computer's getting hacked so I can go through there, I'm just gonna pick off this guy here. And there are exploding barrels down there that you can shoot that will harm the enemies and bring their health down. But if you stay back, use your tactical echo, and pick these guys off from a distance, you'll make pretty quick work of them. Now they will come from underneath the room to your right and come up the steps and hit you from the side if you're not paying attention. But I'm going to come in here and get these EMP grenades. The EMP grenades disables those blue armor suits. So, and then it disorient them. Disorient? <laughs> I can't even say the fucking word. But it fucks them up long enough so that you can fucking shoot them. How about that? Uh, and I'm not shooting at the blue guy. Don't even waste your time shooting at the fucking blue guys. Because it just takes so much fucking ammo. That you're just going to want to do this. See him? He fell down and his armor is off now.
So if he'll fucking quit moving, I'll fucking shoot him. Now show your fucking face. Bam, bitch. I don't even think I hit him. But you see how I'm trying to fight these guys from a distance and I'm not running up. And my screen got extremely red right there, so I ran off and got cover. I didn't want to waste one of my adrenalines. And here he comes again. I miss again. So now what I'm going to do is switch and throw a fucking EMP at him. See, that's what I'm talking about. You hit him with that EMP and then you can kill him right away, fast. That's the best way to kill those blue dudes is with one EMP grenade and then a clip of fucking bullets. So in here, again, you're not going to want to rush right out the door. Hack that spider mine because, like I said, one or two will conflict damage. It won't kill you, but if all of them blow up near you, you will die. And then if one or two of them conflicts damage and you got a, an enemy shooting at you at the same time, you'll die. Now what I found, if you shoot that camera from back here, then the enemies won't come rushing out of that room and you can sneak attack them. So wait for that mine, that spider mine, to get hacked before you go in. Now I don't know how to fuck that door open. Usually you have to hack the computer, but again, I have a fucking EMP grenade and I can take out two enemies with one EMP grenade and one clip of bullets. So those EMP grenades uh, work pretty good. So always pick up EM EMP grenades, you know, if you see them laying around, swap them out for your regular grenades. They work a lot better, I think, and they have a higher blast radius. I just, I waste one here, no big deal, but when you jump down here into that vortex, don't just go running and jumping into that hole because there's a chance that that rope might not be there for some dumb reason and you'll fall to your death. So approach it without jumping and the rope will just, you'll grab the rope automatically. Um, and then when you get down here and you hack that computer, um, look up while that computer's getting hacked and you'll notice this little air sentry coming down and just kill that because it's going to want to shoot at your, at your owl anyways. But this is going to come to an end right now. Chapter 7 part 2 is coming up next and that will get to the very end. And then chapter 7 part 3 is the wave of enemies and I will show you how to very easily defeat that wave of enemies. So hit that uh, like and hit that subscribe button so you can see how I did it. See you later. Bye.